from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. As we'll see Drew Locke and the New York Jets taking on Mason Rudolph and the New England Patriots. We have a cold night in the Northeast. A bad evening to be without a parka, but we are set for football at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. And they've lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. First two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Cordero Patterson on the return. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. As we take a peek at the Oklahoma State product, their quarterback, Mason Rudolph. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And this will go for five up to the 33. Cordero Patterson, the Patriot ball carrier. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, here's Rudolph. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looked like man coverage, able to read it there on the outside for the completion. That'll be something to track as the game goes along here. It certainly will, and there's so many different ways that they will try to figure out whether they're in man or zone. Sometimes you'll run a guy in motion to see if someone runs with him. Other times you'll empty out the backfield, spread it out, and see if everyone comes out and matches up. In any event, anytime you see man coverage, you tell your guys you've got to win those matchups because if you do, you'll get the football and probably for a nice game. Throwing on second and eight, Rudolph. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be let out by their quarterback in his second season out of Missouri, Drew Locke. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. On second down, Elliott. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So 
So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Block working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And this will be taken at the 13. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. From the 25 on second down, Rudolph. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Out of the gun, Rudolph. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. And the Patriots. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First down carry for Davis. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 yards, a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll run with Davis fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Alan Smith there on the tackle. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 35 on second down, Rudolph. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, Nichols sent five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. The Jets take over first and 10. At their own back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so someone well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. It looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, it's Locke. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. We're scoreless after one. First quarter with no score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it second and seven. Back to throw Rudolph and brought in by the tight end Cook. Rudolph's pass. That catch good for five. It's third down. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Davis, he'll try to run for it. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. That'll go in the books as just a 16-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Number 21, Mackenzie Alexander in on the tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard game brings up. Here's Locke to throw. At the 40. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First down, lock. The throw taken in by Sims. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Steven Sims. A gain of four. It's now second and six. At Play action. Now it's lock. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. That's good. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. First As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. 
But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Locke. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense, but they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Shotgun snap to lock. This will be caught at about the six. And the Jets are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to... And this time, he is in! Ezekiel Elliott, his fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. But he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Now for the point after. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Rudolph now to throw, and he'll complete this one to Patterson. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and 10. No gain on the play. And it brings up third down. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion. So now here's third and ten. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Davis. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season. And given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes. Steady goes the offense. But you know what else is happening, too? Because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. 
you've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone. Looking to get it to Ward, intercepted. Mackenzie Alexander with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Intercepted by the Patriots. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. After the interception, here's Rudolph. This will be caught inside the 10. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the 9. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now it's Rudolph. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. His throw is going to be incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. It's third down and Rudolph looking to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hopkins. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. The kick by Bass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Jets take over first and 10. At their own 28 yard line. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. And one at the 38. A final shot before half for Locke. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. On the return, Tremont Smith. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Tremont Smith on the return. The Jets take over first and 10 
at their own. Court. So here are the Jets now to take over. They are trying to snap that three game losing streak on top so far with the football here first and ten. They look to throw. It's Locke. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. He was covered by Stephon Gilmore. Throwing again. Locke. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Carlos Dunlap able to record his fifth sack of the season. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. They fake the handoff, now lock. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. for the fourth time tonight. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. Take over first and 10 at their own 46. The New York set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. from the gun. Lock. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. That catch good for only a couple. And eight at their 48-yard line. To throw again on second down. Lock. Open man Taylor Gabriel. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, 
The defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good hit. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. And I guess, partner, you call that a coverage sack. Oh, without a doubt, because where did he have to go with the football? I know everybody wants to get on him about, hey, get rid of the football. You had too much time in the pocket. But he's scanning the field, nowhere to go, and that allowed the pressure to ultimately get to him. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And now a high kick, but he hit it straight up. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. the carry it's Davis and yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard he's brought down getting had a ton of success here so far but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one yeah even on that one there was a little bit of a hole but it closed there quickly at the end on second and one Rudolph he's airing it out for Williams it's caught inside the 25 and he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On the run, it's Davis. And they'll get this down to the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. He was brought down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Rudolph. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Debo Samuel, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Now the try here for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Smith to return it. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. And now out come the Jets. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, 
you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A throw left side to start to drive is complete. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. That's good. We're on a lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Throwing now is locked. That's complete to Ward. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route, and the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's Elliott. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Ezekiel Elliott, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and eight. Lock going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. A great Monday night to wrap up the week in football. Two division rivals and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Watch pass. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be third down. Gain of a yard. Brings up third and seven. Now lock again. Finding Gabriel complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him 22 yards, and that's also where they snapped it from, the 22. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Again, it's lock. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Delaney Walker, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jets are going to retake the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Point after try, forthcoming. And that may 
makes it 14-10. A 10-play drive that time. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now it's Patterson. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the, return, the Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard New line. England try to get a place on offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. First down, it's Rudolph. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Out of the gun, Rudolph. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. Rudolph. Seven yards, the pick up there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's Davis. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. From the 50, it's Rudolph. Pitch and catch here to Cook. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Jared Cook. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 45-yard line. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 29-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, here's Rudolph. Fighting through pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Marcus Golden, excellent job on that play. A big, big loss, 18 yards. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there was just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Rudolph got a man. It's Patterson complete. Rudolph will get a couple yards on that one, and it's going to be third down and forever. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. Here's Rudolph. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go on fourth, Rudolph. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. We 
see Drew Locke in the offense coming back on. He's had quite the turnaround, Charles, at the start of the game. Passing game was a little bit of a mess, but he's back on the horse, so to speak. Love seeing how someone can rebound from a slow start or a tough start. Means that they're strong mentally. They've kind of calmed themselves down. Everyone's rallied around them. Maybe they even changed game planning a little bit in order to make things better for them. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now lock. And that will be incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, level. that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And that will come the offense as they take over. So the Patriots now down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw. Fighting to stay upright. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Rudolph. Oh, leaping and he makes the grab. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. He's going to let it fly. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it didn't get done. Jared Cook, his pro bowl tight end, was the target. And it's second down. the pick up there move the chains letting one go deep for the end zone and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown how many people watching this one right here gave up because that score they might want to try and rush back into this stadium <laughs> yeah what looks like is going to be the game deciding score although a little bit of time left so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched well they better come back in here and watch this one because you and i we're not going anywhere we want to see this one play out Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First down again at their own 25-yard line. So now the focus shifts to the Jets, trailing by a field goal. 27 seconds to go. A four-straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Back to throw, lock. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Good coverage there by Trayvon Mullen. Taylor Gabriel. 
It's now second and 10 at the 25. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Brings up a third down and 10 yards. To He'll look to throw. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. He's back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Elliott. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And I tell you, these division games never for the faint of heart, but they come through with a tight victory here on the road. And you find yourself working harder in a game like this too, don't you? Yeah, because ball, you got to stay sweat. with it, right? You got to stay with it. You got to stay locked in. It's our type of a game. And you just mentioned it. Division game on the road, tight, and they find a way to win it. Way to hunker down, as my old coach used to say, and find your way through. So for the Patriots, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. And, and they'll head back home next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to 2-7. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.